Whilst 2020 has been a bit of a dumpster fire, there is light at the end of the tunnel in the form of three new D&D releases, all before the clock strikes midnight, leading us into 2021. First up, things get chilly in September with Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Releasing on September 15th, 2020, Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden is a source and adventure book for characters between levels 1 and 12, where you're going to be entering the nation of 10 towns to brave the bleak world of Icewind Dale and uncover its greatest and darkest secrets. This adventure is taking its inspiration from horror movies, but unlike something like Curse of Straw that we'll get onto in a moment that takes its inspiration from classic Hammer House horrors, Icewind Dale is pulling its inspiration from modern horrors and thrillers such as The X-Files or John Carpenter's The Thing. This new frosty adventure infuses contemporary horror vibes directly into the game. This is seen most notably in the new optional edition to take a secret when creating a character that adds motivations and tensions to how you play. These secrets can be held close to your chest to create paranoia and distrust, or they can be divulged at any time to deal with the consequences from the rest of your party. The story provides nods and winks to much of the past lore that surrounds the region, including the adventures of Dritz Dorden from the much-loved Icewind Dale book trilogy, but adventurers will find the region has changed very much over time. We are super excited for Icewind Dale Rhyme of the Frost Maiden here at the Game Chamber. We're planning some frosty terrain builds to coincide with it and other goodies as well. So if you're excited about this one too, make sure you've clicked subscribe. Just in time for Halloween, October 20th sees Curse of Strahd revamped Un, I hope, completely intended. This is a reboxing of the original Curse of Strahd adventure that was released in 2016, which in turn was an adaptation of the original Ravenloft module. This is basically a collector's edition that comes in a vampire casket shaped box, with the original hardback book being split into three softbacked books. That's quite tricky to say. The original adventure is in one book, the separate book for the creatures that you can experience throughout the adventure, and then a third book outlining how the Taroka deck works. Talking of the Taroka deck, this box does come with a deck. They're larger size than the ones available by GF9, and they're foil printed. I think they're sort of tarot sized cards, and they look really nice. The Taroka deck is a way of randomly deciding the party's fate a few times throughout the adventure. It comes with a really beautiful four panel dungeon master screen with some incredible artwork on there alongside a double-sided map of Barovia and Castle Ravenloft and some other print materials as well. As far as the actual adventure goes there isn't really anything new here most of the changes are there to reflect the recent efforts from Wizards of the Coast to make Dungeons and Dragons more inclusive and diverse which whilst of course very very welcome if you already own a copy of Curse of Strahd and the GF9 Taroka deck you know not really getting much new here. This is really one for collectors who want those bragging rights of the awesome casket box up on the shelf. Last but by no means least, November 17th brings us Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. The wizard Tasha, known as Igwilv to some, has compiled all of her treasured secrets into a book so that the world may be enriched by her adventures and discoveries. This has already been hailed by some as the most important D&D book of 2020. It's a source book that's filled with new rules for player characters such as expanded subclasses and group patrons. It's similar in style to Xanathar's Guide to Everything, which really I do feel is essential. It's got lots of new rules to discover as you dive into the book, including a section just for Dungeon Masters, and it really seems to be making strides towards addressing some of the issues that 5th edition has regarding the prevalence and reliance on races that other systems such as Pathfinder 2nd edition have addressed earlier this year. Tasha's Cauldron of Everything is shaping up to be an essential purchase for every intrepid d and We'll have more on each of these releases when they come out, but until then we'd love to know which of these you are most excited for. Let us know in the comments which one of these books is girding your loins. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it make sure you hit the like button and stick around with the subscribe button for loads more D&D and tabletop goodness here from the Game Chamber.